So where do we go from here? Uh, it's a good question, right? I mean, we could go anywhere. And uh, yeah, to kick things off, if you have a serious life thing that occurs and you don't really consider or reconsider your priorities, what you're doing, you have wasted an incredible opportunity. The situation I was in a couple weeks ago, the, the apartment fire, has made me seriously reconsider every aspect of my life. And what's great about this is that I had already done so when I turned my life around less than two years ago. So this is like a, a reflection inside of a reflection period, like a, um, is reflectionary a word? A, a reflectionary period inside of a reflectionary period that has caused me to reconsider every aspect of my life. Again, like already from a more elevated position. So it's actually brought me to a, a further state of elevation. And there are a lot of material benefits in, in terms of like all the routine-y, like tangible stuff um, that I, I've spoken a bit about on, on IG and and just all the, the comforts of living in, in a different situation. But that's not super important. What's what's really important is the, the internal reflection, the internal change that I've I've gone under the the massively higher levels of gratitude I have for existence, for the people in my life, for the people that I have, uh, you know, the support of and who I'm able to support. That's really where where the reflection is, has been, and what I've reflected upon most to understand that gratitude should increase, and I will use the word should here, although I do typically try to stay away from it, should increase in times of so-called pain, times of so-called negativity, times following so-called trauma. This is when one needs to be doubly gratitude to know, and I have been, and obviously time is a long stream, hopefully, and who knows, you know, I have to earn this daily, but I'm, I'm feeling very strong, far more abundant, far more grateful uh, for for existence than, than I did before the fire. So where do we go from here? I only just wrapped a year of, of NYC Foodways. I, know, I guess that was a month ago or just a few weeks ago, although it feels a lot longer. Um, and one of the things I reconsidered really is, is how I'm allocating my time in the Foodways project. And I'm noticing that the reels that I cut based around mindset, personal development, coaching, seem to be hitting pretty hard. The messages I get, the comments I get, all of the engagement and whatnot, both visible and invisible, is without a doubt, has a, without a doubt, heavier traction than, than these u weekly YouTube videos, which I love. I love doing it. The food and culture has been good. It's how I got my start. It's what, what I was commanded to do, and it, it's, it, it, um, it definitely nurtures my creative side. But as a giver, as a seeker, as someone who wants to create the greatest impact, I'm not certain that talking about you know, documentaries from the 70s and, and, and the stuff that I love from an aesthetic standpoint, from a cultural standpoint, from a personal standpoint, from a me standpoint, is really as grateful content production as what I'm doing with coaching, what I started doing recently on top of that. So where do we go from here? That's a good question. I'm not certain really. And there may be a pivot away from the weekly food and culture. There may be longer pieces that are more sporadic. There may be shortly, uh, shorter pieces that are more frequent. There may be ad hoc pieces whenever I feel like it, but I'm definitely reconsidering a lot of what I'm doing with my time. I mean, one has a certain quantifiable amount of time and energy every week. And if one chooses to invest that in a piece that might fulfill their creative side, their cultural side, their maybe more self-involved, self-interested side. Is one really helping? I, I don't know, I, I, I'm not certain. And what about the fire next time? To quote the great man, you know, what about the fire next time? Do I really, what do I want, what do we want to be leaving behind in the end? And I'm, I'm very pleased with my production on Foodways and, and as the spirit guides me, I'm going to continue to produce. I just, I don't know the cadence, I don't know the rhythm and I don't know the focus. Um, so where do we go from here? Only time will tell. So much love, so much love. This is it, man, this is it for me. NYC Foodways as a project, as a concept, as a grounding agent, as, as therapy, as all of this for me, as a spiritual practice, as mind, body, spirit alignment, it's, it's all connected and it's so important for me to do this 
and it's important for me to do this for you. Much love.